1925 silent classic Phantom of the Opera to the music of Filipino rock band Razorback. Probably not what the original filmmaker had in mind, but following the tradition of live music accompaniment. Uh, we have to keep in mind that uh, silent films were silent, but screenings were not. Uh, those films were screened with uh, orchestras, with bands. The full houses are evidence of this festival's growing popularity, with films from Europe and North America attracting a new generation of moviegoers. Giving new life to old movies, the modern take on the musical accompaniment ensures an instant connection with a younger contemporary audience nearly a hundred years after the director said cut. Not having much of a silent film tradition, the Philippines certainly possesses a well-developed musical one that this festival taps into. We have to capture the essence of the film, the, the, the passion of the, the lead, and uh, at the same time we have to play something modern, something interesting to keep things moving. It's a combination that works for audiences. The drama was so good and the film is excellent. Did you enjoy the movie? Yes, definitely. It was the first time to actually watch the silent film. It was good and I liked it very much. The universal and timeless nature of drama proving a hit then as now. Rob McBride, Al Jazeera, Manila.